Hey guys, welcome to Sundays with Kai. I have a rainbow mohawk today. There's like every color. Pink, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. I went all out. And look, sexy, right? Also, LeBray is back. Fuck people and what they think of you. An old lady at work saw me with my green mohawk washed out and like down and was like, that's a disgrace. You can't walk around with hair that's all out growing on the sides and the hair's all down. You gotta like stand it up. And I was like, right on. So I went and I bought some stuff and hair magic happened. Anyway, today's topic is week 10. Toughest moments. What did you do? What was it? And how did you deal with it? So let's talk about that. <sighs> My toughest moments has been pretty much getting evicted by my family um, and then telling me that you know it's not okay um, it's an emotional thing and that transition is really not uh, a real solution it's um it's just a way for the medical system to take advantage of people who are vulnerable and also that it's a bigger sin than killing babies that's been pretty tough <clears throat> I've tried to have conversations with my family in order to you know deal like help them understand I've tried to share videos with them of, of kids who are going through this of adults who are going through this things that I really connected with um, they pretty much tell me that these are not real occurrences they come up with some retarded reason for why you know like kids do it and retarded reasons for why adults do it and uh, I was pretty much told that I will never be able to see my nieces and nephews again if I do this um so I can stay here as long as I don't transition and as soon as I start transitioning I gotta go so it's been the two hardest months of my life sitting here you know I have my tea letter and I just can't do anything about it what I'm doing to deal with that is going to my support groups talking to people trying to get a better job so that I can move out and start taking tea it just makes it really hard to focus on the things I need to do like being pleasant at work and not stressing out <laughs> I'm sick again because the stress is killing me and uh, I was talk talking to a customer who told me that I sounded snappish on the phone <laughs> and I'm like listen lady I got bigger fish to fry than like your questions about your computer I I'm trying not to like you know give up <laughs> fuck you but I didn't say that but that's what I was thinking um so I'm looking into I'm applying to like every company under the sun and looking for roommates and housemates and things like that and just prepping for getting the fuck out of here and part of that has also been doing things to change my parents to the ways I actually like myself to look like I like having a mohawk and I like wearing piercings and I like shaving the sides of my head and so I'm just trying to embrace all the things about myself that my family put pressure on me to stop doing and trying to be out of the house as much as possible hanging out with friends who I'm sorry my family's apparently killing themselves downstairs so I'm just trying to make friends and spend as much time out of the house as possible socializing and just doing my best to you know have interviews five six times a week and apply for every job I can uh, that will give me more money so that I can afford a place to live pay my my rent and just trying to focus on everything but the fact that I can't transition while I'm here um I just don't talk to them and I've, I've sought out my support group we have a an email group that I we you know we have as a group and I participate in and when things get really rough I just start emailing people and just being like the hell do I do and you know responses are varied and, and often <laughs> not helpful because <laughs> hey 
you know, maybe it is just end all be all. And maybe I will lose them. Maybe, maybe not forever, but probably forever. And it's just having to deal with that. I can't afford therapy right now, so I've stopped seeing my therapist, whom I miss. But I just, I'm in this limbo where nothing happens that's worth mentioning. Uh, I spend a lot of time with friends and play video games as an escape, but nothing's really going on in my life because I'm not transitioning. I'm not, I don't have the job that I need. I'm not moving out. I thought I was going to move out in April, and now it's May. And here I am with crazy hair and piercings, but I'm freaking depressed. I'm so angry at being stuck in a rut again. And I'm so angry that I feel I'm amazing and I can't get the jobs I want. They, they're they given to other people. <clears throat> and the jobs that do show interest in me don't pay as much as I could make in other jobs that I want more. And they're not doing, they're not jobs that I actually want. They're just jobs that I can get. <sighs> so I'm feeling sort of attached and being sick doesn't help because when, when I'm sick all I want to do is sleep but then I feel like I'm killing time I could be doing something else so I'm I'm sort of angry right now and not doing much but uh, you know before I trans before I came out as a trans man the hardest part was living with the guilt was living with the knowledge that I was not who I pretended to be and now the hardest thing is seeing that I'm not passing and knowing that I won't pass until things change but I'm too depressed to change things and the things that I could change aren't happening so I I mean I'm doing what I can but there's not much I can do to really get over this except for weight and patience is one of the virtues I don't have I have most of them because I'm amazing but I don't have others. And humility I also don't have. I don't even know what that word means. Uh, a lot of my co-workers whom I've become friends with are also leaving and going to bigger, better things, which just makes it more frustrating that I can't seem to get the job that I want. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not crying. I'm just sick. But... I'm very frustrated and and I don't know what to do except sit here and let things come to me and I don't like that. I'm too proactive and my proactivity it's it's not working. So I haven't even started filming videos for the upcoming weeks. My video is due like tomorrow night and I haven't even edited it. It's just too much is going on and not enough is going on and I just can't bring myself to care. Which I know like two weeks ago you wouldn't believe me but I, I can't even think about editing my video because I don't care. I just don't care. I'm too busy hating life right now. Which is so stupid. So that's kind of my bag of marbles at the moment. That's not even a phrase. But I just said it, so now it is. Brilliant. Okay. Catch you guys next week for top surgery. I don't know. I do want it. But not much to talk about there. We'll find out. See you guys in a week. Peace out.